there guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to talk a bit about coding um, and about the language I am coding in at the moment, which is MATLAB, uh, and why I need to learn that as an aerospace engineer and why you might possibly need to learn coding as anyone doing a STEM degree. So this is just going to be a cosy little coding session, just trying to be productive, as you may be able to tell. I wasn't in a very productive mood yesterday, I wasn't feeling very well, so that's why I was in my pyjamas and a cosy jumper and a blanket just on my laptop to get those last few hours of coding in in the evening. So let's get into the video. Basically what it comes down to is coding is really useful for modelling processes. Now whether this be airflow over a wing or how particles interact by using code, by modelling the outcome, you can change the input parameters and see how they would react without having to spend loads of money on actually manufacturing your design, testing it and then having that trial and error. Um, it's much more low cost to have people model things, so that's why we use code. I have two modules that require me to use MATLAB. They are my Introduction to Control Systems Engineering module and my Design, Build and Test module. Now, these two modules focus on slightly different aspects of MATLAB. So my Introduction to Control Systems looks at systems, whether they be electrical or heat transfer, like there is an input, something happens to that input, you get an output and you model that process and then you can change different input parameters, feedback loops and we model that in MATLAB so we can see how systems interact. Uh, in my design build and test module we are looking at how different factors affect the plane and its speeds, for example changing the angle of attack, changing the lift coefficient, changing the drag coefficient um, and modelling that against true airspeed and you kind of get a picture of how different aircraft will work compared to each other without actually having to design and fly a whole aircraft and then carry out your experiments. So that's why on my course I have to use MATLAB. Um, MATLAB is very maths orientated, it is basically a fancy calculator and it is used in industry. However, there are other programming languages that you're probably more familiar with. So you've got some low level programming languages like the ones that are just a step up from binary and then you've got a higher level object orientated programming like Python and all that malarkey. So yeah, that's like a brief insight into coding in STEM because if you're doing a physics degree, you're going to be coding. If you're doing a maths degree, you're going to be coding. If you're doing an engineering degree, you're going to be coding. Unless maybe civil, don't have to. Although I imagine they do as well. I don't know how they work. But if you're not coding, then you are definitely doing some computer-aided design. So we use both these tools to help model components so we can come up with designs easily. Um, they're really good with one another. Now, if you're like me and you felt like you've been living at your computer for like the past year, um, this is your daily reminder to go take a walk when it's sunny and just get fresh air when you can because there is life outside of our screens and I think we just need to take whatever's there. So that's my PSA. This video has been like quite fun to do actually so if you fancy another one of these Cozy Coding Club videos and another catch up as to what I'm doing in MATLAB, then let me know because I have an assignment due and this may be my only motivation to get it done. <laughs> Of MATLAB and I've basically done nothing. 
but at least I've done nothing now rather than done nothing later. Anyway, here is my script file. It's very pretty. And this works as well as it's gonna. I've just got two more tasks to do. Lovely. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. See you later, homies. <laughs>